Okay, everybody. Hello and welcome back to Motorsport Manager. This is the week of the Cape Town GP. Uh, we are doing practice, qualifying, and whatever work needs to be done on the car or for the team in this episode. The race will be next episode. So, without further ado, let's begin. First, we got to check the mail because it won't let us advance without checking the mail. Uh, Hamilton does good in qualifying, car updates, an interview with Sky, I guess we'll do that. You used to use team orders in the race, something fans are not particularly keen on. What do you have to say? Uh, in this case, I felt it was justified. That's pretty much, pretty much the deal. I mean, it, it was necessary in this case, um, for whatever reason, but, uh, I think it was, I think, did we use them pre or post car issue? I don't remember, but... I mean, driver form was the real reason we used it, but uh, obviously in real life, you don't have a such thing as driver form. So um, it was really real life. It was determined by the car issues. Uh, anyway, we performed four pit stops last race. Bleh, four pit stops last race. Our fastest time was 3.671. That's uh, almost a half second slower, which is not great. Sebastian Vettel won, and our gearbox is ready to go. So now... We head to the car and we're going to do fit parts. Now, typically this gearbox goes to Magnuson, but I'm not sure because I'm thinking this is only 13 days old, but like its reliability is so trash in comparison to this one. And, and the performance is not significantly better. What do we, how do I? 68 uh, it's not really that much what is this one? this one's 65 i guess it's not that much better they're not very reliable um i guess i'll give it a magnus and like was the plan because it's it's still not a reliable gearbox but what we're gonna do what we are gonna do is when we get to improve parts uh in like a day or two we are immediately going to fix that because it's a serious problem. Uh, real quick on the pit crew. Uh, this dude is exhausted from all his tire swapping duties and, and must be replaced. Uh, I'll swap him off for this guy. And this guy is pretty tired as well. Let's see if we have anyone. Um, I guess we'll hire this guy. He has a 0.4% chance of doing something stupid, but... I mean, he probably won't, um, right? Probably won't. And uh, that looks good for the pit crew. So moving on and we will get to improving that gearbox reliability right now. So let's see gearbox. Um, is this, this is reliability. We're going to go reliability, reliability, and we're going to switch all of the staff over to doing that right now because that was a serious concern last race and that'll be done seven days before the race which is great again the gearbox repairs are finished everything's great everything's great um we should probably scout some drivers um because uh i believe grosjean will be gone after the year uh magnuson will probably stick around i don't know i forget what the there is some logic to these contracts i don't remember exactly what the logic was but there was logic to this uh people whose contracts end in 2020 uh we don't really need to scout these guys do we because no like we already know them so scouting is really reserved for for drivers we don't we don't have star ratings for so let's go down here um I'll just scout him because he's already signed to Racing Point. Uh, same for this guy, George Russell, who apparently is not racing for them in the game this year. I don't know. Or maybe we just don't know how good he is in the game. I don't know. Uh, da -da -da. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Why would I have to scout Lewis Hamilton? We don't know how good Lewis Hamilton is. He's pretty good, I think. For Stappen. Um, oh, I'm here. Let's scout Max for Stappen. All right, that's good for scouting for right now. Sponsors are all set. I think we are basically all set. So we're going to skip ahead until the 
gearbox reliability should be done here and then um i don't uh we gotta wait for this f2 race to be done but i think we're we're pretty okay uh, as far as a team goes right now once this gearbox reliability is done i'm just gonna throw those uh sliders back over the other side if it didn't do it for me um Are they not done? Oh, what? Why are they? Whatever. Um, I think they've been made more reliable, right? Uh, hang on. I will read that in a second. I just want to do, let's just do fit parts. Yeah. Gearbox is way more reliable now, which is good. So now our gearboxes are actually helpful. And we should be good to go on that front. So now we got to design a new part because we haven't been doing that because I forgot. Um, what is the new part we are going to design? Well, let's see in our car stats. What is the worst part? Our engine's actually not terrible. It's middle of the pack. Um, our gearbox is not great. Our front wing is not great. Uh, fit parts. Let's see what part. We still have an engine to do for him and an engine to do for him. We have never done an engine. So, however, I do think that we would benefit from, huh? I don't know. I, I guess we'll design an engine, right? Let's get an engine. Um, let's do plus 10 plus 10 and, uh, yeah. Because what do we got for money? We got, yeah, we got enough money to buy at least one engine. And we'll see, we'll see how that affects us going forward. Um, and we're still improving all these parts, so that's going to be the main focus, I think, moving forward for right this second. And then let's go over to HQ real quick. Um, we are going to look at what does this do unlocks gearbox components and allows for improved consistency and performance it costs six million dollars well we ain't got six million dollars so i think we'll just skip ahead for now oh must respond a fitness guru wants to do something what sure whatever go, go do Go do uh, fitness stuff. Uh, quick report on Cape Town 76 lap race, 2.3 miles per lap. The lap record is a 108. On the weather front, things are expected to be dry with a 10% chance of rain. There are low speed corners on the circuit for cars with excellent front wings, such as Ferrari. Uh, we'll have to watch out for them. The tire compounds are ultra soft, super soft, and soft. The track is quite abrasive, but our car is one of the best on the grids when it comes to tire wear. Well. That's all good news, I guess, sort of. And designing the engine is completed. So we actually can go into this race with a new engine in one of the vehicles. The question is, which vehicle should we put this new engine in? It's 954. So that's worse than both our engines. How did we build a worse engine? How did we do that? <laughs> That's, um, interesting. Well, I guess we will give it to you as you are always the man who gets the crap parts. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't get how we built a worse engine, but sweet. <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, let's, uh, design new parts. I want a new front wing and I want it to be more reliable. Actually low speed corner. Oh, I can pick two things from here. I don't really want to, um, low speed corner plus 25 to the max. Um, actually no, we're going to go reliability, low speed corner plus 20 minus 10. So we still get plus five reliability. And then in the last category, 
we can do weight stripping. We could do low speed corners on wet tires, but we're not going to do that. Um, yeah. Let's do that. This is going to cost a lot of money, but... Um, yeah let's do that we'll do a new front wing yes we are confirming our new front wing because we had a we had an issue with our last front wing too so um we scouted somebody scouted uh george russell he's he's okay but he's not the best but he's all right according to the mail what does the mail think the mail thinks uh he's one of the weakest drivers and not worth looking at well that's great all right Let's get to it. Hop on over to the race to get to get what we need done. Done. Uh, the track is abrasive, and it's a 76 lap race. Um, so let's see what it auto picks. Uh, yeah, no, this is the worst auto pick ever. Um. Let's see, and we'll throw in another, yeah. I already did the part fitting, so let's head over to the race. All right, we are here. We are ready to go. Now, it was suggested that in practice I uh, try Pietro over here, so we're gonna we're gonna give him a go. Uh, oops. Yeah. All right, there we go. And uh, I'm gonna adjust his setup a little bit. We need some more downforce, so let's just crank the rear wing a little bit. And I know that there's a lot of corners here, so. And then we're going to want to lower this because we're going to want to be accelerating out of corners. And then, you know, just give that a little tap to the side there. Start them both on. Yeah. Let's take practice. All right. Let's send out Grosjean first. He is going to go out and do... A one lap qualifier on the super softs just to get a feel for his car Pietro on the other hand here is going to go out and do a four lap race that's correct Wow it's actually set up the drivers to do the thing that I wanted them to do in the order that I wanted them to do it that's that's a first uh, we're just gonna skip through this as fast as possible because the first laps uh, Always weird. Handling is spot on. Perfect gear ratios. So far, so good. Uh, the gear ratios, I was expecting to be good. The handling on Grosjean, I wasn't so sure. Um, Grosjean does a pretty good lap. Pretty good lap. Uh, the downforce is more downforce through corners is required for Grosjean. And, oh my god, his setup is not great. Uh, okay. Well, good news is uh, we can fix that. So... Now we're going to lower this a lot. We are going to crank up the downforce here and cr crank up the downforce there significantly. And then I think he probably wants, you know, let's, let's go there. He's going to go out for three laps of qualifying on the same set. We need to run more angle on the wings, guys. Okay. Man, those uh, changes took a while to make to Grosjean's car. <laughs> I've never noticed that menu taking a long time. Or that uh, the send out button taking a long time. That's um, interesting. Interesting. Uh, the arrow is way better. Oh, and he's got a very poor something. What the hell is the top one? Uh, very poor downforce. We need to run more angle on the wings. So, I assume we mean front wing. 
Um, and then... Yeah, we'll go with that for now. And let's send him out on a set of softs just to get a feel for it. Um, he's going to do eight laps on softs. I want to see how eight laps on softs varies from four laps on super softs. Uh, I want to look at, you know, because it's, it's double the stint. So I want to see when he comes back in what the the degradation is. Those tweaks to the downforce are great. Speed balance is right on the money. Although Grosjean's setup is still not good. Like he's still, he's in the good, great, good still, which is not particularly good. Um, I'm going to bang the wing up as far as it goes. It seems ridiculous to do, but bang it that way and just see if it makes him feel better, you know? And, um... I'm send him... Well, just send him on the same set again. Because I'm really... I'm not too... I, I want... I think I want that set of tires, so... I'm not too worried about... Not having... Can we set the handling how it was before? That's not good news, because... <laughs> Uh, he's not going to come back in, so yeah. I'm really happy with the gear ratios. I thought you were already happy. With it. And then touch the gear ratios, Grosjean. Can you give me feedback on that wing? All right. I'm going to I'm gonna call him back in because he's, he's very upset. This man is not happy. <laughs> this, the gearing is a bit... What the hell happened? Did you crash the car, dude? Like, how did everything get worse? <laughs> like, I didn't touch this gear... <laughs> I didn't touch it, man. Um, let's go to that. And then let's just crank this. And let's not touch. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and let's try that again. I know. Now I'm not going to get the same information I wanted, but he's not going to be able to finish it anyway, so it is what it is. But damn. Oh, I made him way more upset. Oh my god. He's only on good, good, good. I don't think our car likes this track. This does not bode well for the race. All right, let's take this down a notch I think that's a little much and let's increase decrease I don't know what he wants here I really don't so that was great and so tap it that way a tad other way and then let's knock this down yeah let's knock this a tad and then bring this back in a tad and just just go do what you gotta do man and shred that last little bit off that tire i don't know I'm not feeling very confident in our Cape Town practice here. Oh, God. And he's still not happy with my downforce. Well, this has not gone well. <laughs> this is not our track. The gearing is weird. Oh, my God. I don't see how the gearing is weird, though. He was happy with that. Man. Man. This gonna be a interesting race. Oh my. Well, 
we kind of got him in a better place. <laughs> the rest of it, uh, yeah, I am worried after that practice session, Aaron Andrews. You are correct. I am deeply troubled by what I just heard from my drivers. Uh, all right, slot knowledge. We are going to go with qualifying trim and super soft. And then same for you. And we are going to, oh my setup. Um, None of this is good. Okay. So that's like right in the middle. So if we go to here and we try to get that to there <laughs> without any of this moving, I guess, is the plan. Um, fuck. Um, hang on. That's great, but that's bad. That's terrible, and that's terrible, and that's better. We're just going to go with that. I don't know. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good luck, my dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> car two is going to qualify somewhere hideous. Somewhere you don't want to be is where car two is going to be here at the end of this fucking race. Um, let, let's send out Mag here because you might have to, you might have to come in and see a doctor. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right, let's let him get a little bit out there. And now, hang on. I'm not going to send Grosjean until another second or two. I know, you're going now. Oh, God. Tire temperature was low for both of them. I mean... That wasn't really a nice one, Magnuson. Look at you. You're, you're falling off the edge of the earth. Grosjean did okay, though. All right. Uh, let's let's take into account what we got here. Um, oh, so, these guys all set a way worse time. I think Grosjean's safe. Magnuson, I'm not sure. I'm going to send Magnus in one more time on the same set. But Grosjean is going to stay in the pit. I think Grosjean's safe. I hope. I actually think Magnus is safe, but he wants to go again. And Man, he's trash. Dude is trash. They even do better? What the fuck? Yeah, I could have. I didn't have to send him again. He was safe, but damn, he is just a mess. Car two is a mess this weekend. Car two is a mess. Like, oh my god, it, it, I don't even want to see the screen. It doesn't matter. Car two is a literal shit show. Like, Car 2 just doesn't even... Like, he's got to go now. Because I... Like, this setup is better. He's happier. But, like, holy fucking F. I'm going to let him set a time on this busted up set. And see how bad it is. To see if it's even worth wasting tires here. Because it might not be. And I'm going to hold Grosjean a little bit. Because Grosjean needs to get this done in one. As far as I'm concerned. 
All right, Grosjean, you've got one shot at this go. All right, Magnuson did okay, maybe. And Grosjean did terrible. What the fuck? All right, Magnuson, you get to go again on a new set. And then... Grosjean, I don't know what to do with you, my, my dude. I'm going to let Grosjean go... I'll let go, Grosjean go on an ultra and see if he can just get through. I didn't really want to have to start him in the race on ultras, but uh, if he can get through, he can get through, right? Grosjean's doing better. Magnuson didn't do anything. Okay, Grosjean went fourth fastest on that set. Um, Now Hulkenberg's going to leap us, isn't he? Yeah. Fuck. Fuck, fuck. I tried to get through on a fucking super soft. Didn't happen this time. Last week we, we pulled it off, but this week we couldn't get the we couldn't get the the other strategy through Q2. <laughs> Not that it matters, because like qualifying we're always ninth and tenth. Pretty much. What did he miss by? He missed by like three three tenths of a second or something. Not much. You didn't miss by much. Eh. Oh well. Well, Grosjean, you're our last our last hope, bud. Um Might as well send you out on that set. And see what you can do. And then yeah. Let's Pretty much, pretty much gonna be that, cause there's there's not much to this. Uh, we're getting a little traffic here. Purple sector, purple sector, purple sector. Okay. Only Hamilton is above us. Is anyone else going out again? Yeah, they are now. All right, go again. New set. Let's see what we can do. We're gonna get caught in traffic again. That was pretty lame, bro. But you're gonna finish. You're gonna start fourth in the race. I'll take fourth. I'll take a fourth. That's good. That's not bad. We're only outpaced by two Mercedes and a Ferrari. We actually beat both Red Bulls and the other Ferrari. I'll take that. I'll take that. Considering how bad practice went this weekend, let's go. So we're starting 14th and fourth. Not bad. Not bad. And we can actually start Magnuson on like a. The, the medium tire or whatever it is the soft tire and uh that'll be pretty good so that's gonna do it guys for this episode of motorsport manager with team haas racing the next episode will be the full race from cape town but until then thank you guys so much for watching if you're new here don't forget to subscribe if you have any suggestions on how to run the series in the future please leave them in the comment section below i do take feedback and i will be using it uh as the series progresses so Anyways, thank you so much, and I will see you all later.